Hello, you absolute legends. Something amazing happened last month, but I haven't had a chance to cover it until now. We have covered some pretty insane Super Mario 64 accomplishments this year, and the world record for every single category has seen improvements. But what happened last month may take the cake for the craziest achievement we've seen yet. Not only just for the year, but perhaps for all time. The speedrunner in question goes by the name Dowski. I haven't talked about him before, but he has been on a tear lately. He is not exactly new to Super Mario 64 speedrunning. He's been a top competitor for at least the last couple of years, but recently it seems he has ascended to the next level. On the 2nd of October 2019, Dowski executed one of the most precise speedruns of all time and smashed the one-star category world record by over 6 seconds with a time of 7 minutes and 14 seconds. To destroy the world record by this margin in one of the most competitive speed games is incredibly impressive, but he didn't stop there. On the very same day, he would go on to set a new record in the zero-star category with a time of 6 minutes and 36 seconds. Getting a single world record in this game is amazing enough to set two in one day is unheard of in modern times. These records aren't the product of some groundbreaking new discovery or strategy, but rather the accumulation of small optimizations combined with next level gameplay. The runs are a true thing of beauty, and today we will check out some of the cool improvements that went into them. I hope you enjoy. I have already covered the basic idea behind the strategy involved in the zero star and one star categories in a previous video. So if you'd like a more in-depth explanation on what is going on, please feel free to watch that video first. On the 2nd of October, Dowski began streaming attempts to break the one star world record. He actually already held the world record, which he had claimed from the Japanese speedrunner Kano several days earlier, but felt the record wasn't as perfected as it should be. An hour and a half into the stream, he would start the timer on the run that would go on to demolish the record. This is a must-watch run, and I'll put a link to both of these in the description. The overall execution is astonishing. Super Mario 64 is an extremely complex game, and usually these records will have at least one or two obvious mistakes, but you'd be really hard-pressed to find anything wrong with this run. The only thing that stands out as somewhat of a time loss happened when Dowski was executing the backwards long jump glitch on the 70 star stairs. He took three extra jumps to begin catching the stairs to gain speed. So obviously, in theory, it could be performed with a single jump. But this isn't generally seen as realistic. His backwards long jump through the 50 star door was literally perfect, so averaged out, this was extremely fast. I can't stress enough how optimized this run is for the strategies used everything was pulled off basically flawlessly. There were a couple of cool movement optimizations thrown in. For example, after the 30 star door backwards long jump clip, instead of simply stopping his momentum and turning around as was done in the past, he did an extra forwards long jump into the wall and wall kicked off to quickly build speed in the opposite direction. In the final Bowser stage, there was a very precise triple jump to get onto the moving platforms near the end. You can see that he performs the final jump in the sequence off of this thin support beam. Doing these type of maneuvers late into the run on world record pace is so incredibly clutch. These runs are starting to get really aesthetically pleasing, and the movements used are definitely a level above what we've seen previously. In my opinion, the only way someone is going to beat this record anytime soon is with new movement strategies. Grinding out a run that has such perfect execution combined with the fast glitches would be a monumental task, and probably isn't something anyone could pull off for a long time. Obviously, I'm not a Super Mario 64 expert, and some other top players might have differing opinions, but from what I see, this is one of the greatest speedruns of all time, and you must give it a watch. I got this, I got this. My fucking god. I didn't fucking choke. This run's insane. <laughs> Dude, let's fucking go!
This run was nuts! 7-14! Sorry, that was probably really loud. 7 fucking 14, dude! Let's fucking go! Dowski wasn't done for the day. After a 20 minute rest, he began attempts to beat the Zero Star World record. This time, he was armed with a pretty significant optimization. He had been working on a faster method of getting through the 30 star door. In previous records, players would spend quite a while backwards long jumping into the wall to continue to build speed. In Dowski's previous record, as well as the record before that, performed by Kano, they needed 8 extra long jumps to get the required speed. With the new technique, Dowski was able to get through with only 3 extra jumps. This was a huge improvement, saving around 5 seconds over the previous method. But just because a quicker strategy exists, that doesn't make things any easier. Usually, as strategies improve, they become more difficult to execute. In fact, there are faster strategies for basically everything, and there is always effort going into the balancing act of choosing the best strategies that have a realistic chance of all coming together in a single run. This type of strategy is ridiculously precise, and it could take many, many hours to pull off a single time. This new optimization is definitely faster, but definitely more difficult to pull off. As I've mentioned before, even though the Zero Star World Record is faster than the One Star Record, that doesn't make it easier or more optimized. Getting through the 30 star door and making it past the entrance to Dire Dire Docks is much, much more difficult than simply getting through the 30 star door alone. So you ultimately have far less attempts to complete a really good run. In Dowski's fateful stream, it took two hours to successfully perform the strategy in a run on the first try. And it was this first successful attempt that would eventually become the new record. The run wasn't as perfect as his previous one star run, but that's pretty understandable given the conditions. After achieving a new world record, the adrenaline surge would have been massive. Personally, Whenever I achieve an important world record, it completely drains me, and I have to basically stop playing for the day. The combination of anxiety, adrenaline, and then elation definitely takes its toll on the body. Dowski opted for a slightly slower, yet more reliable strategy in the Fire Sea. He was 5 seconds ahead of his previous world record at this point, so there was a decent amount of leeway to include some more consistent strategies. The glitches through the 50 star door and 70 star doors were out of this world. The 50 star door was successful after only 2 long jumps, and the 70 star stairs were first try. Let's compare the speed of these sections between the 0 star and 1 star world records. Pretty bad. I think the run's dead. The execution of these glitches was so incredible on the Zero Star World record that Dowski was almost 8 seconds ahead of the previous record. Even if you discount the new optimization, he still managed to gain a further 2 seconds. If Dowski had have played the end of this run perfectly and beaten the Zero Star World record by 7 seconds, as he was on pace to do, this without a doubt would have cemented this stream in my mind as the greatest Mario session of all time. Unfortunately, the pressure was too much, and some small errors eventually lowered the lead to 4.5 seconds entering the final Bowser fight. A further mistake in the Bowser fight lost another few seconds, but his lead was so great he still managed to beat the old record by just under 2 seconds. I fat fingered A. <laughs> Guys, I don't, I don't know what to say. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know what to say right now. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I kinda just got zero and one star world record in the same day.
Don't let these mistakes take anything away from the run though. To finish the run at all without making any run ending mistakes and clutching all three Bowser throws, knowing that you might be about to make history is a monumental achievement. With the shorter categories conquered, Dowski has his eyes set on the 16 star record. A few weeks ago he catapulted into second place with a time of 15 minutes and 9 seconds, only 5 seconds behind the world record. The race to be the first to complete a 16 star run in less than 15 minutes is really starting to heat up. The world record holder Aki is back and streaming attempts. The speedrunner Lunar Jump is now third place with a time of 15 minutes and 12 seconds, which was also set in the past few weeks. I really think that this barrier might be broken before the new year. If Dowski manages to break the 16 star record, he will hold three out of the five main speedrunning categories, which would be a ridiculous accomplishment given that Super Mario 64 is the most popular speedrunning game of all time. I really suggest giving him a follow on Twitch and popping in when he is streaming his attempts, as you may witness a huge piece of speedrunning history. Breaking news. Literally as I was making this video, Dowski has indeed achieved the 16 star world record. He just barely edged out the previous record and achieved a time of 15 minutes and 4 seconds also, only with a slightly better decimal. There are some cool things happening with these new 16 star runs, but I'll wait until the 15 minute barrier is broken before I cover them in greater detail. Dowski now holds 3 out of 5 records, a huge achievement. A massive congratulations, and I look forward to seeing this record go lower in the near future. Now I want to give a quick show of appreciation to a few people that have sent me a donation through PayPal over the last few months. I definitely see them and it really means a lot. Thank you so much. And thank you to the rest of you for watching, you legends. I hope you are having a fantastic day, and I will see you in the next video.